Okay, here's a wee little video um, I just thought I'd make. Um, well, first off, I'm just going to give you a quick scan of what I have done with my shed so far. Um, that's new, uh, a little Clark uh, Miller machine, um, a bench grinder. I've got my benches in, as you can see I've been doing stuff. Uh, I've got some shells up here, I was messing on with that motor there. There's my laser unit. Uh, a few more shells there and I've got my XP computer and speakers are plugged in. That's my hi-fi there is what I'm using for the speakers for that computer and I've got some music and stuff there. That half of the shed is still an absolute mess. Tesla coils over in that corner just behind there. Um, yeah, lots, lots, lots of shit to be done. Um, this last, about a week ago, I managed to pick me pick up a, a Chinese Hang Yong um, 1.5 kilowatt um, VFD, and I had that. That's a three phase motor. Um, I was trying. See, this this is the motor I used to make the rotary phase converter, and it's only about half horsepower to three quarter horsepower, and so. I was seeing if I had another motor I could swap the uh, the actual main shafts with, and I, I don't. Um, this is a, a single phase, um, one and a half horsepower, um, 220 volt motor. Um, I've had this for years. Um, it was connected up to a big compressor that I have in another shed over there, and I took this off um, because the caps that was inside this basically went uh, there's the original there's the the old wiring block and I basically have cut that out and I spent about 10 minutes on the internet looking to see if it was possible to convert a single phase motor to three phase and I'll spin this around this is the I've taken this off there and so I'm just gonna see if I can show you what it says on the plate hopefully and I'll get a bit of light uh, and get the camera to oh, sorry about this. Get the camera to focus on there. Okay, so if you pause that there, you see 1.5 horsepower, 1425 RPM, volts 220 to 240. Phase is single phase, 50 cycles, and it draws about five amps. Um, so that's the original plate. Now I have this wired up. Uh, one second, now let's click on auto focus again. I had this wired up to my VFD, and um, what I thought I would tr try um, is what I did is I paired off two of the field windings, and then the other two are separate. So, looking up, they were all color coded like that, and there is f the connections for the stat cap, which is on the little uh, rotary switch inside there. Um, so I've paired off two and the other two are left single and they're connected to my three phases basically coming off the VFD um, I thought I'd give it a try and sure enough it works so I'm going to click run you hear that switch just click out there that would have disengaged the run the start cap um, I'm going to click jog here to go from reverse to forward and as you see boom now I haven't done any long testing on this yet so I don't know if the motor is going to overheat the wind is going to overheat and burn out I honestly don't know how well this is going to function but I'm running at 50 Hertz and I'm going to jog it up so there's 50 that's 60 Hertz this 70 hertz 80 hertz 90 and I'm not going to go much higher than that because that's pretty damn fast so yeah I just thought I would uh, share that with you because uh, I looked on YouTube to see if anyone had actually uh, converted a single phase um, motor to three phase and really I found people asking about it but didn't really come up with a definite answer so I thought well, I had this old motor why not give it a go and sure enough so far it's working all right um, I'll just turn off the inverter and I want to stick my fingers in there to see if there's any heat no nope, that seems to be fairly cold so 
answer is yeah you can do it but do it at your own risk um i'm going to give it more testing and hopefully this will work perfect because i do have a use for this more um so yeah that's it for now thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe